Good morning everyone and welcome to our presentation. As you can see on the screen, our topic today is Kesawa Film Stretch Film. Let me introduce myself and my teammates. First, our advisor, Fauzia Shani bin Ishik Rahman, team leader, Pavitra Mahalingam, teammate 1, Hama Mazuki bin Ahmad Nazarude, teammate 2, Nur Bumaira Adlin bin Hassan Adli. The next slide was outline. Our presentation outline, we are start with introduction, research background, research objective, research methodology, result and discussion, conclusion. Plastic products are essential in our day-to-day -day lives because almost all appliances, either household or small industry or large industry are using it. Plastic is a synthetic polymer which made from petrochemical and plastic also not biodegradable. General scientification sources of environmental pollution harmful of human and wildlife when they are disappeared in nature. Disposing plastic into water is causing the death of aquatic animals, particularly turtles and marine mammals such as whales and dolphins. Burnt plastic release poisonous chemical in the air which increase the risk of heart disease, asthma and causes rashes, head age and damage the nerve system. Soil fertility get affected due to the plastic waste which lead to significant reduction of communities of soil dwelling insert and can have potential co-sequence on soil carbon and nutrient cycling. Billions pounds of plastic can be found in swollen coke that make up about 40% of the world ocean surfaces. All most plastic bags go into trash dumps which leads to littering the landscape. That's why we have come up with the problem solution with production of biodegradable film for food packing. In this slide, we are going to see research background. Kesava, also called Topiako, is one of the most abundant source of starch production in Asia. Starch is natural polymer. Starch from agricultural waste such as cassava fill can be used as bioplastic matrix. Utilization of agricultural waste such as cassava fill is low cost, abundance, renew renewable, and biodegradable. Starch is brittle and has poor mechanical properties. Anyway, cytosin is one of the most interesting biopolymer obtained from marine sources. Cytosin is low cost, widespread availability, and stable, reunible re sources and also biodegradable. Natural antimicrobial agent against fungi, bacteria and virus. Cytosine form good mechanical properties. The objective of this research is to produce biodegradable film from agriculture waste of is to produce biodegradable films from cassava peel stretch and cytosine with visceral as plasticizer to investigate the mechanical properties of the biodegradable films to determine the biodegradability of films by using soil barrier degradation test. The following slide will present by Humaira. Thank you, Pavitra. So I would like to continue our presentation by talking about research methodology. So first, we start with extraction of cassava paste touch and after that, we continue with production of cassava paste touch filler and after going through all of the process, we are going to do the film testing, which is the R2. First one is mechanical properties test, and the second one is biodegradability test. Okay, so right now, I would like to continue by explaining more detail about the methods in making this cassava paste touch filler. So for the first one, we need to wash and dry this cassava paste. Second, we need to cut it into the small pieces, and after that, we blend it with the distilled water. The slurry were filtered, and we need to add water into the waste one, blend it once again, and filter it. So, at this point, there are two process of filtration. Filtrate 1 and filtrate 2 are mixed and precipitation is carried out for 3 hours. The starch deposit are obtained, need to be dried, and these are how the cassava paste starch looks like. After that, the process in making this cassava paste starch film are continued by preparing two types of solution. The first one is starch solution and the second one is chitosan solution. For the starch solution, there are four differences in concentration that have been prepared. The first one is 1%. 3%, 5%, and 7%. The reason why we prepare difference in the concentration is because we want to know and observe which concentration that picks the best. For the chitosan solution, the concentration are only 
After that, we mix the solution and added glycerol, which are 40% of total solid weight. After that, we continue with the solvent casting process and the solvent needs to be continued by the evaporation and drying process. So these are the last product, which are the films. We can see this is the characterization of the films. Okay, so right now, the film needs to go through the film testing process, which are mechanical properties tests. The film are cut into the specimen size, which are width of 15mm and the length are 65mm. And we set the crosshead speed into 1mm per minute with the force 5 kN. Besides that, the film also needs to be going through the soil barrier test where we cut the films into 2.5 cm and after that, we determine film's weight before we bury it into the soil. The process are continued by burying it into the soil 7 cm depth down and wait it for 3 days. After 3 days, we took out the films and determine the film's weight. And after that, we calculate the film's weight before and after using this formula so that we can know how much difference of this film's weight. The process are repeatedly continue so that we can know how much long these films can degrade. So thank you Humara. Now I'm going to talk about the result and discussion. So here we have a tensile strain of film graph and elongation at break graph. So in the tensile strain of film graph, there are different between starch contains, control film and bioplastic that were shown. Compared to the control film and bioplastic, the tensile strain of the starch tissocyte blend film is much higher and the maximum tensile strain occur at 1% of starch content with 7.7 .7 and per millimeter. However, as the amount of the starch content increase, the tensile strain of the starch titosan blend film decrease. So in the graph of elongation at break, you can see that titosan blend film increased from 4.3 to 8.3% at 1%, 3% and 5% of the starch content but decreased at 7% of starch content with a value of 2.8%. Control film showed that the lowest elongation at break with the value of 2%, while bioplastic showed the highest elongation at break with the value of 32%. So in this uh, in this presentation, you can see the structure of the stru starch and the structure of the titocin. So the structure of starch and titocin were combined to form a high formation of intermolecular hydrogen bond between NH3 plus of the titocin backbone and OH of the starch. The number of hydroxyl group increased with increasing starch content in the film forming solution. The decrease in tensile strain with increasing starch content may occur because starch intermolecular hydrogen bond rather than intermolecular hydrogen bond are formed, resulting in phase separation between the two main components. From the diagram and the graph, the salt barrier degradation test. So from this diagram and the graph were shown, can be seen that all the buried film suffer weight loss. Weight loss increase as the burial time increase. After 18 days of soil burial, the film appear brittle, fragile and diminished in size indicate the natural biodegradation of this film into soil environment. The film initially show faster degradation behavior and after a certain period, the degradation becomes slower. This rapid degradation has due to the composting process which occurred in two main stages, an active composting stage and a curving period. In the first stage, the temperature rose and remained elevated as long as there was available oxygen, which resulted in strong microbial activity. In the second stage, the temperature decreased but the film continued to compose at a slower rate until the last remaining nutrients were consumed by the remaining microorganisms and almost all the carbon had been converted into carbon dioxide and we can conclude that all film are 100% compositing within 80 days except for starch titosin blend film at 1% starch content this is probably due to the highest titosin ratio which inhabited the bacteria growth so the conclusion for this study is we determine that the cooperation of cartesian actually helps to improve the film's mechanical properties and also the result of 1% of cassava pea starch content show the highest intensity range. We also found out that all films were 100% compositing within 30 days. And also this utilization of organic waste such as cassava peel for production of starch-based bioplastic can help to reducing the environmental damage that are caused by the conventional plastics and thus have a great potential for application in food packaging for future. So that's all from us. Thank you.